Hi everyone, I'm Professor Semikara. Lifecycle engineering is all about developing products and enabling technologies with a targeted attempt for reducing the total environmental impact in order to ensure that the new product technologies stay within their environmental space as derived from the planetary boundaries. Hence, the main purpose of lifecycle engineering is to address problem before it happens rather than trying to fix it afterwards. One of the biggest issues facing society is environmental sustainability. As engineers and scientists, it's our job to make sure that the technologies we develop address societal problems while having a minimum impact on the environment. The problem is complicated due to the expected population and associated affluence growth in the next couple of decades. Therefore, it's our job to make sure that the product technologies we develop take into account this growth so that we don't exhaust world's limited resources and jeopardize the future of our planet. Another issue is that the future is uncertain. We may not even get the benefits that we expect or they may become obsolete. You will also learn about concepts to deal with this, such as life cycle planning and design. We will also look into various concepts along a product life cycle, such as sustainable usage, product collection and reverse logistics, and end-of-life product management. We will also cover most widely used assessment tools such as life cycle assessment and costing and material flow cost accounting. We will also cover energy and resource efficiency in industry in order to maximize resource usage and minimize environmental footprint since this will be the point of interaction for a majority of you as a starting point. Now, because there are many of you and some of you are not able to attend the lectures in person, we have put together a whole host of online activities to support you throughout the course. You can find these activities on the Moodle course site. We will also provide recordings of the lectures on Moodle. So what online activities have we developed for you and how are you expected to use these resources? First, you are expected to complete the pre-lecture activities for each unit before the lecture. These interactive activities are designed to convey Key, key concepts that we'll be covering in the lectures so that you can come to class well prepared. We have also developed a series of accessible online quizzes designed to test your knowledge as you progress throughout the course. Access to these quizzes as well as the lecture notes will be restricted until you complete the pre-lecture activities. Now, because sometimes the most effective learning happens through, through your peers, I encourage you to participate in the discussion forum that you'll find on the middle course side. If you have questions that other students may also be pondering, make sure you post them in the discussion forum so that the, your classmate will benefit as well. Also, I encourage you to help your classmates out by answering their questions if you can. This is an excellent way for you to learn as well. That's about it, what you need to know about this course. Good luck and I'll see you in the class.